There's a bill moving through the legislature that would raise your electric bill. The securitization bill passed out of two committees today. It would help Hawaiian electric industries raise capital to pay for wildfire-related expenses, including all those lawsuits. Our Diana Co. finds out there's mixed reaction at the Capitol. Many people and agencies want the utility to develop wildfire protection plans, which will cost a lot. Several bills calling for securitization address this, including Senate Bill 2922. So they would be, you know, uh, trying to shore up their financial situation by uh, the securitization measure, which would allow them to securitize a bond by putting a fee on electric bills. The bill says with credit ratings at a non-investment grade status, the utility would have to pay much higher interest rates to borrow money. That's why Hawaiian Electric says securitization would cost customers less. We'll need to raise substantial capital to cover expenses associated with those catastrophic wildfires and securitization is the most efficient and least cost way of meeting those expenses. Securitization is an important uh, tool that businesses can use to um, bring down the impact of costs. And we all understand that these costs and investments are coming and are needed uh, to mitigate uh, wildfire impact. This bill passed with amendments and a critical eye from some lawmakers. So passage of this um, will add a fee to people's electric bills. And not only have they not been transparent about how much that might be, um, in addition, we haven't seen um, or had, you know, I have, have asked that question multiple times and the company has not been willing to share with us what they're doing internally to um, find savings and tighten the belt. Lowen recalled the pandemic. The legislature suspended our salary increases for several years. That didn't do anything to change unemployment rates or to add much money back to the budget, but it was a uh, just kind of sharing in that financial hardship. It was more a symbolic gesture. Hawaiian Electric says we have spent $30 million on the Maui recovery so far and have nearly 100 people working on the rebuild, planning, community support, and going after federal grants. Hundreds more across the company are working on implementing wildfire safety actions to keep communities safe. No senior executives received an incentive bonus for 2023, and that amounts to a significant pay cut. Incentive pay, which is paid by shareholders, not customers, can represent more than half of executives' annual pay. Diana Coe, Island News.